I'm writing the poem that'll change the world, and it's Lily Wilson at my office door. Lily Wilson, the recovering like addict, the worst I've ever seen, so like bad that the entire eighth grade started calling her like Lily, like Wilson, like, until I made my classroom a like-free zone, and she could not speak for days. <laughs> but when she finally did, it was to say, Mr. Molly, this is so hard. Now I have to think before I say anything. Well, imagine that, Lily. It's for your own good, even if you don't like it. I'm writing the poem that'll change the world, and it's Lily Wilson at my office door. Lily Wilson is writing a research paper for me about how homosexuals, like, shouldn't be allowed to adopt children. So I think I'm writing the poem that's going to change the world, and here comes, like, Lily, like Wilson at my office door. She's having trouble with the paper. She's having trouble finding sources for her paper, which is to say ones that back her up. They all seemed to argue in favor of what I thought I was against. And it took four years of college and three years of graduate school and every incidental teaching experience that I have ever had to let out only, well, that's a very interesting problem, Lily. But what do you propose to do about it? That's what I want to know. And the eighth grade mind is a beautiful thing. Like a newborn baby's face, you can often see it change before your very eyes. I can't believe I'm saying this, Mr. Molly, but I think I'd like to switch sides. And I want to tell her to do more than just believe it, but to enjoy it. That changing your mind is one of the best ways of figuring out whether or not you still have one. Or even that minds are like parachutes, that it doesn't matter so much what you pack them with, so long as they open at the right time. Oh, God, Lily, I want to say, you make me feel like a teacher. And who could ask to feel more than that? I want to say all of this, but I manage only, Lily, I am, like, so impressed with you. <laughs> so I finally taught somebody something, namely how to change her mind. And I learned in the process that if I ever change the world, it's going to be one eighth grader at a time. Thank you.